Hey everybody, it's Cole. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new or if you're returning, I'm so glad you're here to hang out with me today. So today we'll be doing another magazine flip through. This is First for Women, June 12th, 2000. Not a celebrity on the cover this time, uh, at least not in the cover girl position. It's a model in a lovely knit white tank top. Although there are a couple of nice era specific celebrities <laughs> peeking out of the corners there. Sneak peek at the back for you is a Cambridge cigarette ad. Two folks smoking and walking on a desolate country road. <laughs> Very spooky for Halloween. Let's get started. Here we have it. First for women, June 12th, 2000. Very busy cover with all different fonts and colors and sizes and italics and really messy. <laughs> Uh, we have some Y2K celebrities here. Jenna Elfman from Darm and Greg. You can steal her look down here. We have Sarah Michelle Gellar in some a very interesting kind of super shiny gray skirt, like a long skirt. Do you remember how they wore those really long skirts on Buffy? She's wearing one of those skirts. Also Cindy Crawford and Sharon Stone, all in white, as well as our model in a beachy background because it is June, so let's crack this open. And what we have is a cigarette ad. There's a bellhop with a huge pile of luggage. Where's our like fabulous hotel diva? I wanna see somebody. I wanna see who has all this luggage. Think light with merit. Right here, my eyes, of course, were drawn immediately to Reba doing a <laughs> Rosie the Riveter <laughs> move here. We got some big yellow shorts on a beach. Be in the best shape of your life. This is very body oriented, body secrets. Can't lose weight. Must be because it's the beginning of summer. So they want to freak everybody out about being not right in their body. Solutions for your life. This magazine is great for these little odd photos of simple instructions for using weird stuff to solve problems like she's got deodorant on her feet, she's pulling rubber bands with her toes, and there's going to be more of them throughout the whole magazine. I just know it because the first magazine always does this. They have forever. Uh, anyway, so down here we have a super speedy stress reliever. She's even on, on a stopwatch because she's so fast that she's doing a little <laughs> pinchy tweak. Oh, there she is. Nice big shot of her. Boom! Enjoy lifelong vitality. Oh, okay, so we have like all different celebrities talking about vitality, including Tam Anderson in this <laughs> really awesome cowboy hat with a distorted American flag ribbon. Peggy Lipton, it's advertising Peggy Lipton as like the celebrity here, but Rashida Jones is Peggy Lipton's daughter. So there's a little early shot at Rashida Jones. How funny is that? Look perfectly tanned, very um, like pregnancy test or like monostat color scheme. Love this graphic down here of this perfectly tanned woman in a bright pink one piece bathing suit with the high cut sides. Only good hair days. How to fix any problem instantly. That is a lofty promise. So here's Miss Jenna Elfman. They flipped her in reverse from the cover. We have a non-celebrity general woman with split ends. Love this PC falling apart updo. Very flattering, I think. I remember playing the original Sims when it first came out and this was one of my favorite hairdos because they couldn't have long hair because they didn't have the animation capacity for it. So the sleek updo, that's the answer. Some superb shorts. Hmm. They claim to work wonders for everybody. Do you think these women look wonderful in these lampshade shaped shorts? I don't know. This is gonna be a, recur a recurring thing in this magazine, which is a real big push towards websites. Like, did you know anything you could want is on a website? It's revolutionary. Best websites, this graphic here with this big pixelated arrow, and you can go to tide.com to use the uh, stain detective to help you figure out how to get your stains out of your nasty whites. Here's a glasses ad. 
that is pretty cool. I love these oval silver frames now, I think. They've, they've come back into style. Everyone looks great here. This color contact ad with the green contact and the brown eye. I feel like I remember this from the Walmart optometry center. There would be like a big cardboard stand-up photo of, of this image, which was stunning and I still love it. A happy memory saved my life. Patty Parker in her chartreuse business suit, shoving papers in her chartreuse leather satchel. And then here she's chartreusely wearing riding pants on a horse. Uh, over here is a McDonald's ad. This little boy is feeding himself with a rubber dinosaur puppet that I guess he got from the Happy Meal. That kind of turns my stomach. <laughs> this is not making me want to eat McDonald's food. It tastes like a rubber dinosaur face. Okay, here's our first Millennium reference. It says, the Tampax tampon is considered one of the most important inventions for women in the past 1,000 years, but that was last millennium. They're innovating and it says, the revolution continues. That's pretty cool, I like that. I hope there's more Millennium references in here. Nice big lampshade shorts. Has, there's a really nice graphic here. The inside story of your guts. This kind of x-ray effect with this white shading with the multicolored rainbow innards. Wow, this is striking. Hate the yeast infection, love the treatment. A big, bright pink kiss on the page. What does it do that's so good? Why do they love the treatment? I guess it, the treatment is good because it, you don't have to like smear anything in your cooter, so what's not to love? It's a pill, that makes sense. It doesn't need to do anything more than that. I'm, I'm asking too much. Do you need more beauty sleep? Lots of short hair. I'm noticing really a very trending thing. And then there was that gal right in the beginning, her. Quite a few. Let's see how many we can rack up. All right, this was our, uh, our celebs in the front that we saw down in the corner. Sarah Michelle Gellar, Sharon Stone, Cindy Crawford, Rachel Hunter. Why did I think this was like a fashion thing? Oh, Body Secrets. Oh, I thought it was a fashion thing because I wanted it to be a fashion thing so we can get an explanation for this large skirt. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Another short hairdo. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes, this. Uh, this young woman has broken into your home, sticking her head in the window and this rainbow light is actually like spraying out of her neck. Color prescriptions. Get energized with red. Be more alert with yellow. Okay. Ooh, this is the same model as this page, right? That's definitely the same person. They liked her so much they used her twice or three times? Was she the one in the very beginning too? This is totally the same woman now three times over with three different photos. Huh, I wonder why they did that. Did they get like a bulk discount with pho with photos from her? Or is this someone that they actually hired instead of using like stock photos? Intriguing. Uh, really like this peppy kind of Spice Girls feeling like distorted <laughs> ad for diet pills. Here's some food stuff. I never, I never have any interest in the food stuff. I'm sorry if you have ever wanted to see me talk about food stuff and I always skip past it. I don't know, there's no women there. Here's that same dinosaur movie that they were pitching before with that disgusting rubber puppet from the McDonald's Happy Meal. I don't remember this movie at all. Nestle and other brands were like pushing it hard. Maybe if I go to dinosaur.go.com, I could learn more. Oh wow, this is so cool. Oh my God, I love this. And it's for dish soap? Okay, yes. Send your hands to a spa without leaving the kitchen. And it's this great hand silhouette with long nails showing with this a negative cutout of a, of a spa. For Dawn's special care dish soap. Ew, what is this? Summer berry pudding? Why is it that stucco texture? I guess let's, let's find out, shall we? Where is our summer berry pudding? Oh wait, before we get to the summer berry pudding, let's talk about super juice. 
two tablets a day can keep the doctor away. Oh, look at him. He's like, you don't want to see me. I'm a jerky male doctor. Just take this super juice pill. It's funny to use this doctor as an advertising angle, not as like doctor recommended or this doctor supports us, but like you hate the doctor, don't you? Take this pill and never see him again. Okay, here's this grody berry pudding. The color is less saturated in this image. It doesn't look as frighteningly magenta, but it still looks really gross. It's like tripe. Let's see if I can find an image of what I'm thinking of. Gross. So what is it? Oh, it's bread. It's white bread. That's why it's this like diagonal bread shape. No, that's not for me. Well, first of all, let me just say what great text in this image here. It says, fool me once, shame on you, but fool me twice, shame on me. She's leaning over your desk, getting in your face, taunting you. <laughs> Etiquette today, smart solutions to readers' real life dilemmas. Very curious to know what was troubling the women of 2000. She made me feel cheap. Ooh, okay, this is a, a girl on girl crime. I would like to know more about that one. I have a beautiful new blouse with a plunging neckline, which I love. The other night though, I went out with some friends and one of them told me that I was practically falling out of it. What could I have said to put her in her place? Okay, I'm so glad I read this one because right away we have a fantastic reference to this time period. Did you see Jennifer Lopez at the Grammys? The Jennifer Lopez dress that invented Google Images at the Grammys. The dress she was barely wearing caused a sensation, but she happily ignored it all. Anyway, it's recommending that she adopts a Jennifer attitude. I dress this way to please myself, which is not bad advice. Ooh, it's an online dating feature. Okay, yeah. Success online. Finding Mr. Right. This guy with this mullet is her Mr. Right. He traveled 1500 miles for his first date. Whoa. Is that not a red flag? That's to catch a predator kind of desperation. Yikes. This whole thing is about websites. Basically, it's like directions for how to start using the internet for things. I love, this is so fascinating. And there's a little ad down here for carpal tunnel gloves. Of course, we're all on the computer these days, aren't we gals? Oh my God. Would you look at this? J14 ad. So we, <laughs> your daughter will love you forever. If you get her J14, we have Kevin from the Backstreet Boys in a bulletproof vest, Christina Aguilera in a vinyl snakeskin uh, two-piece outfit with lace-up crotch. Uh, this is 98 Degrees, Nick Lachey, so hot. Sarah Michelle Gellar again. AJ from the Backstreet Boys, Destiny's Child, the original Destiny's Child lineup with four girls, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Freddie Prince Jr. They ended up getting married. This is like right around the time that they met, I think, in 2000-ish. And then a cover of J14 down here. I think we got a look, we have Mandy Moore, Britney Spears. Wow, what a fantastic uh, time capsule of teen celebrities from the time and their original styling and everything all together. This bucket hat, woof. What more could you want? Okay, tell me, is this the, is this the same woman for the fourth time? Or am I just like thinking that every woman who has short hair is the same person and that's problematic of me to do? I'm not sure. Okay, hold on. Tell me, please tell me in the comments, are these the same people? Is this, does this woman own this publication? Is this like a vanity project for her? Because she is everywhere. She, by the way, looks so cute in this outfit with this black mini skirt, a white t-shirt, a teeny little ascot shopping bag and these strap, like sling back, a blocky heel black shoes. She looks so beautiful. I really like this action shot over here. This woman filling out this, she's ready on a legal pad. It's early morning. She's got her bra strap hanging off because she just woke up and she's feeling free. Glasses on, orange juice coffee. This is a fun little vignette. The proactive ads, of course. Surely if you, are around my age in your 30s, early 30s, or late 20s, you remember the proactive ads from TV with Jessica Simpson. It's funny that they don't have Jessica Simpson in this one, who would be a wonderful spokesperson for anything. Instead, they have Judith Light <laughs> as the spokesperson for proactive, which maybe makes sense for this audience because it's like an 
a woman audience and not a teen audience, supposedly. I really love primaries and like color blocking like this. I like that it's a, a spin on primaries and color blocking, but it's a little bit of like an off color palette. That's really cute to me. And all these hat boxes up here. What are they storing in these hat boxes? Kitchen hats. Hmm. Oh, here's like what I was talking about before with these weird close-up hands and feet doing bizarre, almost fetishy things. Our hand model is scraping her nails across a bar of soap to stop the undersides of her nails from getting dirty when she's working outside. Ew. So she's clogging the inside of her nails with soap to prevent dirt from getting under there, but is that better? <laughs> I guess it would wash out easier. That just sounds like really tactily awful to me. This is so bizarre. Pine and lose? This woman in her underwear with this chemical cut, burned off blonde hair holding this pineapple and making this funny expression and it's so soft focus. Feels kind of a soft core porn, like low budget skeezy to me. Would this be appealing to to the readers of this magazine, I, um, I don't know. Whoa, what is this? It's an, it's an ad for Quality Inn Hotels, and they have a ton of kids. The McCaughey family? Who are they? Looks like they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like octuplets. Um, how unfortunate. And staying in a two bed hotel room with all these stinky little kids as someone's crying. Mm -mm -mm. We have all of the sketchy like ads and stuff back here now. Erin Gray, I was trying to remember if this was a real person and I was trying to Google her because I was remembering her ads for the Hollywood celebrity diet. And I was trying to look her up like, who even is this person? Claims that she's a supermodel, but she's certainly not a supermodel. That is a misuse of the term. Erin Gray, who do you think you are? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um. We have some nice little color box ads here for Psychic's Mother Love. Looking, she's a famous talk show host. I've never heard of her. Oh, wow, over here. <laughs> says a hot music site, another website ad for radiomoi.com. It says from Shania Twain to Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, and Alanis Morissette, Radio Moi web superstition has it all. Are you showing signs of stress? Lots of stressed out celebs here. We got Diana Ross, Maureen O'Boyle. No one is gonna know who this person is. I used to watch this TV show called Extra, which was like a tabloid TV show. Maureen O'Boyle hosted that show. I loved that show. I used to watch it when I was a kid. I remember being very enamored with Maureen. Loved her long face. And on the back, Cambridge cigarette ad. So, I talk a lot about cigarette ads on this channel with these older magazines because there's so many of them. Well, I looked at a first magazine from 10 years prior, from 1990, that had many cigarette ads, which I am fond of. This one only had two. Interesting, they really are phasing out of popularity by this time. Anyway, cigarette ad, we're, we're walking in a desolate, wooded area, a perfect place to hide a body. And we can see in this woman's hand, the teeniest little cigarette popped out right there. So that's it. First magazine, June 12th, 2000. Well, I hope you got some ideas for stealing Jenna Elfman's look. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you all next Sunday with another new video. Bye.